Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today what I want to do is talk you through some of the basic controls and then some of the basic settings that you need to tweak when you first purchase your brand new or second hand Tesla Model 3. Roll the credits. So part one is all the things that you have to do before you set off. And part two will cover the last few settings and then the controls for driving the vehicle. So if you are buying a Tesla and you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out our referral code in the link below in the description. Um, and we both get 1,000 free supercharger miles to be used on the Tesla public supercharging network. So the first thing you should be looking at before you even get in the vehicle is your key cards. So you get this wallet with two uh, credit card looking keys and they're the keys for the car. Um, so to get in the car you have to tap the key on the B pillar and then that unlocks the vehicle And then you can uh, push the handles like this and get inside the car. So if you are buying the car second hand, the first thing you want to do is do a factory reset. So go to the car menu, go to service, and then factory reset. Click on that and follow the instructions. I ain't going to do that now because we've got it's just how we want it. So once you've done that, so you take the key card and place it down here just in front of the armrest. Um, so obviously if you've got the newer version of the Tesla Model 3, uh, this is the 2019-2020, it does the centre console does look slightly different and we have actually uh, wrapped, well we've used a, um, a carbon fibre cover um, to, to cover the uh, piano black um, interior on the Tesla Model 3. You can check out our video for that. Um, but that's roughly where the key card goes. And then you can do things like engage it into drive. Um, so that's where it goes. But what I would recommend before you do anything else is set up your phone as a key. So we'll do that first. To allow the mobile to be used, you have to go into, click on the car menu, safety and security, and make sure allow mobile access is turned on. So to set up your phone as a key, it's pretty simple. Main menu, the main car menu if you like, down the bottom right. Go to locks, and then you have all the key cards um, and all the phones that are set up already. So I happen to have a new phone here today so I'm going to set this up today. So what you need to do first is download the Tesla app and log into your Tesla account. Now you will need to get the car added to your account so if you purchased it new the car will be added to your account automatically. If you purchase it second hand um, it depends on the route you go down so the dealer might already do it for you or you might need to go through Tesla to get it added to your account. So once the car's on your app, so you can see there's a setting on here, phone key. Set up your phone as a key. Select that. So it says set up your phone as a key, question mark. Go to your vehicle and have your key card ready. Start. So hold your key card on the centre console. And success. So you can see now it's added the new iPhone at the top here and it's taken the name from the iPhone. So the next thing you want to do is set up a driver profile for yourself. So the driver profile remembers things like uh, the steering wheel position, 
mirror positions, the seat position, um, and it remembers a lot of the settings as well. Um, so what settings you had on last um, in your, your driving settings and things like that. So it's good to set up your driver profile. So I'll set up a new driver profile today and then what you can do is link it to your, the phone that you've just added. So when it detects that phone, lets you in the vehicle, it'll automatically set up that driver, pro, driver profile that's linked to that phone. So to create a driver profile, you can click on the driver profiles menu at the top here. See it's a list of the different driver profiles. Click on driver profile settings and new driver. So I'll call it Steve. Steve. So what you do then, get yourself comfortable, adjust your driving position to how you feel is suited. Down here on the right hand side, the tilt, forwards, backwards, chair up, chair down. So to adjust the mirrors, select mirrors, I use this left hand jog wheel to make adjustments to the mirror. So select the left mirror first um, and the jog wheel, scroll it up to move the mirror up, down to move the mirror down, left and right. Then you do the same to the right hand mirror. Once you're happy with that, you can click cross, go to steering wheel. So again, it's the left hand jog wheel. So to move the wheel up, scroll it up, move it down, scroll it down. Then push it left to bring the steering wheel out towards you and right to push it away from you. Once you're happy with it, you can exit that and keep making adjustments or click save. And that saved it to Steve's profile. Steve. To now connect Steve's profile to the phone I've just added, you just hit the little person next to the phone you want to add it to. And there you go. That's now Steve's profile. So if you do want to make some quick adjustments, hitting the car menu, you have your mirrors and steering wheel. So you hit that, make adjustments to your steering wheel, and then you'll see it comes up asking if you want to restore it to the previous settings or save those settings to that profile. So that's really handy if you want to make changes on the fly. You can do it the same with the seats. So if I save that, let's say you get in the car and you feel like the seated position is not very comfortable, just make an adjustment. And again, it comes up asking you, do you want to save or restore? So you can click restore and it'll return to the previous position or click save and it saves it. You now have a profile set up for your driving position mirrors, steering wheel, and it's linked to the phone. So what's next? Well, this is one of the most important things I think after you've got all the basic driving settings set up is the pin to drive. Now, a couple of things about the pin to drive. Um, this, what's, this is one of the things that makes the Tesla extremely secure and difficult to steal. If pin to drive is not in, on, on the vehicle, somebody could quite easily steal your phone and steal your car. But with the pin to drive, it's almost impossible to steal unless they know your pin number. So starting from the basic menu, click on the car, safety and security, scroll down. So near the bottom, you'll see this pin to drive option. Hit that enter a four digit pin. So you put your four digit pin number in and that's in place. So then, next time you get in the car, put your foot on the brake as if you're going to put it into gear 
and it requires the pin number. Now one of the beautiful things about the pin to drive function is this box which requires the pin number appears in different places every time. So that means nobody can look at the fingerprints on the screen and see where um, and detect what the pin number is. So you put your pin number in and then it allows you then to put it in gear and drive away. Until you've done that, you can't do anything uh, physically moving the vehicle. So pin to drive, definitely set that up. It turns the car from being not that secure to being extremely secure. So there are literally tons more settings to go through, but these are the critical things that you need to do when you first get the car. Um, we did all this before we even pulled away for the first time, because um, things like the pin to drive, you know, you pull up somewhere on the way home or something like that and um, uh, something happens and the car gets stolen, you won't be very happy. So we did all this before we pulled away from the garage for the first time. So I think hopefully that gives you some indication of um, what you need to be looking at when you get there. And then when you get it home and you've got a bit more time, you can play around with the millions of other settings that are available in the vehicle um, and have a bit of fun with it. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Make sure you check out our Tesla referral code if you are buying a Tesla. Make sure you subscribe for notifications of future videos on Teslas, um, all related EV tech and EV charging. Make sure you check us out on our social media channels. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.